Airstrip One lawmakers vote to jail tech executives who fail to protect the chillins online. What is it I always tell you, man? It's always think of the chillins or my terrorism. One of those two are excuses or both are always used to justify destroying the internet. If passed, Airstrip One online safety book of jail tech leaders for up to two years. Now, the goal of this is to get them to implement some real ID system so, so they know that everyone's full identities, the end of anonymity on the internet. That's what this is about. Now, notice that they're not talking about jailing the parents for, for, for leaving their kids on the internet uh, unmonitored to, to, to do things that would require protection from. Yeah, let's let's not punish the people whose fault it, it mostly is. No, let's let's make it the responsibility of tech companies to worry about these shitty parents' kids. Airstrip One wants to become the safest place for chillins to grow up online. <laughs> Many Airstrip One lawmakers have argued the only way to guarantee that future is to criminalize tech leaders whose platforms knowingly fail to protect the chillins. Man. They want to make the internet so bad that kids don't want to be on it. Now, today, Airstrip One House of Commons reached a deal to appease those lawmakers, Reuters uh, reports, with Prime Minister uh, Rishi Sunak's government agreeing to modify the online safety bill to ensure its passage. It now appears that uh, tech company executives found to be deliberately exposing chillings to harmful content could soon, be a, could soon uh, risk steep fines and jail time of up to two years. There's probably going to be a lot of evidence being deleted now that this is the case. Now, the agreement was reached during the safety bill's re uh, remaining stages before a vote of the House of Commons. Next, it will move to, uh, on to a review by the House of Lords, where the Big Black Cock reports it will face a lengthy journey. <laughs> You're going to get a, a lengthy slapping of the, the Big Black Cock. That's right. Uh, Sunak says he will revise the bill uh, to introduce the new terms before it reaches the House of Lords, where lawmakers have additional opportunities to revise the wording. The reports say the tech executives responsible for the platform hosting use or for platforms hosting user generated content would only be liable if they fail to take a pro a proportionate measures to prevent exposing children to harmful content, such as materials featuring child sexual abuse or, or child abuse, eating disorders, or self-harm. No, so he, here's why I suggest the solution is ban kids from your from the site. And if any, and just have a disclaimer. Oh, if any one of you is found to be underage, we're going to take your parents to court. Now, some measures that tech companies can uh, take to avoid jail time and fines up to 10% of the company's global revenue include adding age verification, providing parental controls, and policing content. It's all about power and control. That's right. Yeah, age verification, that's, that's the one I'd prefer because that's easy to get around. Parental controls. If you want to ensure that kids don't use a website, implement parental controls. Because th that's why kids don't want to be on Facebook. They don't want to be under the thumb of mommy with all those parental controls and everything. Policing content, a.k.a. censorship, that's what they really want. That's their end goal for this is censorship. I know chillins should be ever be on the internet. Yeah, I agree, man. Ban chillins from the internet. And no offense to all the kids out there that aren't pieces of shit, but you're not the problem. It's your parents. Uh, if passed, the online safety bill would uh, make managers liable for holding tech companies to their own community guidelines. All right. Now, this I fully agree with. Uh, One million percent. Force them to abide by the same rules including content and age restrictions. If a breach of online safety duties is discovered, Airstrip One Media Regulator Ofcom will be responsible for prosecuting tech leaders who fail to respond to enforcement notices. Anyone found to be uh, acting in good faith to police content and protect children's reportedly won't be prosecuted. Of course, what we qualify as acting in good faith may not always be the truth, but... Yeah. So ours cannot immediately reach any major tech company for comment on the House of Commons deal, but Reuters report executives based in the U.S. have been closely monitoring updates to the online safety bill. Now, if they had balls, they would just blacklist Airstrip One. Just stop serving there. Then, then people could just get a VPN and still see it from another country. 
Now, Airstrip One Culture Secretary Michelle uh, Donnellan said in a statement that these, this amendment would prevent senior managers at tech companies from ignoring otherwise enforceable requirements of the online safety bill, giving Ofcom additional teeth to deliver change and ensure that people are held account if they fail to protect, uh, to properly protect chillins, to properly censor. Uh, last month, Donnellan wrote a letter to parents explaining why she's advocating for criminal penalties for any tech leaders uh, who consent or connive to skirt the online safety bill requirements. Now, when are you going to actually start advocating for criminal penalties for parents who don't correctly parent their kids? Uh, the onus for, for keeping young people safe online will sit square on the tech company's shoulders. Yep, it's not the parent's responsibility. It's the tech company's responsibility. And Donna wrote, you or your child will not have to change any settings or apply filters uh, to shield them from harmful content. Social media companies and their executives in Silicon Valley would have to build these protections into their platforms. And if they fail in their responsibilities, they'll face legal, uh, severe legal consequences. <laughs> That's right. It's these corporations' responsibility to raise and protect your kids. And if they fail to do so, they will face consequences. Because we live in a society, guys. Mothafiety. Yeah, so you would not have to parent. Like that, that's why they're pitching this to parents. Hey, parents, how sweet is this going to be? You don't even have to do your job anymore because it'll be the company's responsibility to do it for you. And if they don't, we're going to sue them into oblivion and, and maybe even arrest them. Lock them up in freaking jail, man. Why not? What is the worst that could happen?